Hi there, fellow Smithy owners. Here is my Granite 1220 LTD. Um, this is now called a Midas um, 1220 LTD in Smithy's, uh, on Smithy's website. But anyway, <clears throat> I bought these items to replace the um, Gibbs or Gib locks. Um, I've been using the um, grub screws that uh, came factory installed and they're just a pain in the butt so I'm gonna go ahead and update my my um, Smithy 3-in-1 I bought this um, on Amazon for just a couple of bucks you can buy these um, locally but uh, anyway <clears throat> these arrived in record time they, um, they got here like a week earlier than they were supposed to. Um, give you that data again. But I'll see if I can put a link at the end of the video. I'll put a link to where I got these. But uh, these are lever lock screws. They are spring loaded, as you can see right here. They are, um, it's basically just a hex head bolt that's got a hole drilled through it. And then this screw um, holds the handle to the bolt with a spring. And uh, you can go ahead and and adjust the adjust the the handle and pull it out and um, and reset it back to another portion of the the hex and retighten it without ever having to tighten the or, or um, un unloosen or loosen the screw. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take the grub screw out. Or the the Y uh, travel Y Gibbs. This is the screw grub screw that it comes with. I don't think I'm going to need to machine a shoulder into this screw, but um, so there's a hole right in the center back here, right there. Hard to do one-handed, but stand by. See the magic here in a bit. The handles are a bit big, but that's all right. So, after you tighten it, for example, you can just go ahead and pull the the, the handle. You see how this doesn't rotate, but the handle does. Pull it out, put it in another position, and it's out of the way. Or you can use it like a a wrench handle. So. Pretty neat. I'm going to replace this one too. This one's a little bit harder to install. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it one-handed because I needed a screwdriver um, during my initial initial install because I had to put the um, screw in the hole and yeah I think that's rotating on me I don't know if there's any way I'll be able to there we go I'm pulling the handle out as I'm using my fingers to Screw the screw in. I'll probably replace that with a hex head, uh, socket head screw or something like that. Socket head cap screw. So I don't like Phillips at all. I'm going to pause this and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay. Through the uh, magic of television, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, 
So you can see it's it's on there rigid to loosen it. I just go ahead and do that. Uh, tighten it, do that. If I want to change the position of the handle, I can do that. Just go ahead and loosen it that way. And that right there, just that, that little drop, still allows me to crank. <clears throat> and then by pushing this down, oh, that's a lot of play, but you get the idea. Um, <clears throat> that's unlocked. Table is traveling again. This is locked, so I'm unlocking it. Allowing travel. Locking it. Nothing. So, under $10 for the pair, I believe. Um, I'll put a link at the end of the video or down in my comments section. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep these things in a little pouch with the rest of my uh, Smithy um, items that I've taken off the sleigh to make it better. Um, this is my... DRO, my Y axis um, DRO head or whatever it's called, reader uh, from a um, previous video. It doesn't it doesn't really affect anything. I mean, it's pretty floppy. I can I can put it anywhere I want. It's not really going to affect anything. The the cable this this cable right here isn't really fragile, but I put this stuff on here just to you know, make it last longer, but, um, yeah, everything seems to be working properly. All right, um, a pretty short video, but, all right, thank you.